Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Malin, Miss Kitten Heart, and today I am doing something very different. Uh, I have been trading mail art for 13 years. I started it in 2007 at uh, ATCs for All, which is a great place to begin to trade mail art if you are interested in do, trying it for yourself. And then at 2010, I got accepted at Illustrated ATCs and uh, I have been trading mostly there since then for the, these past 10 years. And uh, all of every time I have looked up uh, ATC collections on YouTube, they have mostly been manga illustrations, anime illustrations. Mm, that's my cup of tea because I have a lot of talking today and uh, they are not my favorite so I wanted to uh, show a collection collection that consists of all kinds of art um, and today I got an envelope with the uh, swap returns um, my friend Kat hosted a black and uh, uh, pink themed swap at Illustrated ATCs and uh, I thought well since my lovely swap cards are here it's just a great day to to get out all of my binders with ATC cards there are six binders uh, this will be a pretty long video even though I hurry up but first let's see what I got in my uh, for my swap returns so all of the cards the only theme is pink and black and then it's uh, whatever you want to do and I made uh, cats and I made portraits uh, and these are what I got this is from Taifishan this is from watercolors this is from Yellow Scuds. This is from Bo Okay, I can't read what it says. Bird Ring Art. Something like that. And this is a extra present from Cat. And this is from Catch Pratt. Um, and this is from Cosmic Skeleton. I will post their Insta names below and a whole bunch of mail art friends who has contributed to my collection because I won't say each and every one. I just I will just flip through and tell you what it is. This is my Twin Peaks collection so I mostly have original art a few prints but mostly original art and most uh, most of them are made specifically for me so it is um, a great way to collect collect original art is to trade mail art uh, this is pushing daisies uh, the night circus uh, book by Erin Morgenstern. Uh, this is cozy, so it's cats and knitting and tea, and uh, one of my pink cards will go in here. And this, yeah, this is pretty cozy, and that is my first Pelagonium card. These are my few poodle cards. That one I have made. I haven't made. Uh, I have made few cards in this collection, uh, but mostly are, as I said, other people has made them. Other artists. This is my Archie vagina collection. And my feminist collection, and these all flow together a bit. This is my witchy collection. Uh, 
And again, it's up to artist interpretation. So it's witches and tarot and crystals and and stuff, goddesses. And this is my collection of portraits of me. And I love how people have interpreted it them so differently. These are female welders. welders. I used to work as a welder uh, some years ago, so I thought that would be, it would be a fun collection. Um, scapes, cityscapes and landscapes and seascapes. So, next binder. This is a whole bunch of mermaids. I really focused on my mermaid collection for a while, so I have tons of mermaids. That one I have made. And I love how even though with the same theme, everyone has really made it their own. That one is mine as well. These are dark and twisted mermaids or freaky mermaids or something like that. That one is mine as well. And uh, the great thing is uh, many of these artists that I've been trading with for, for all of these years have become friend, friends. Like these two are by my friend Audrey. She's even been here visiting twice from Canada. And I hope someday I will go to Canada to see her as well. I made this one. This one I really liked so I made a big painting of that as well. And one last mermaid. This is from Cat who, who sent my swap returns. I have tons of art by Cat. And these are my farm animals. These are some of my favorite pieces, most favorite pieces in my entire collection. I think they are gorgeous, like these two. They, the colors are amazing. And the ducks, the pink ducks, will go here. And here are my very few Beatrix Potter cards. And even here, when you see the same um, illustration, they, you still can see the difference in people's styles, so that is so much fun. And this is my I Love the Arctic collection. And I didn't even know, but I have a collection of like fairy tale horses, so cats, uh, unicorn will fit perfectly here. And then here are some animals and birds. Like this, I really like this. It's so simple, but it's so beautiful. This as well, it feels so much like my own cat. And then another big collection. Uh, people with antlers and horns. I made that one. Years and years and years ago. That's kind of fun to see uh, my old art. I made that one as well. To see how how my art has changed through the years. And I also can see how my friend's art has changed through the years. This is Frida Kahlo. I made that one. So that is a lot of fun to see the growth. Um, this is girls, I suppose. Girls, women, 
these are nudes and nude women with animals I made that one and these are my very few angels and another one I think this will start with Alice in no that wasn't Alice um, these are my very few Harry Potter and uh, Hufflepuff collection I hope this will be a bigger one. This is me as Hufflepuffs. And this is my very lonely Björk collection. I really want a bigger collection with her because she is amazing. And then uh, cupcakes. I haven't added to this in years. I don't trade a lot so my collections grow very slowly these days. That one I made years ago. Marie Antoinette. Another one of the pink cards will go here. That one I made. And that one I made. And no. And uh, it was so long ago. It's like a lifetime ago. And these are uh, people with animal hats. And Tim Burton. And sometimes the themes I find that I will uh, collect, I want to collect, come very easily or very obviously. Like I love Tim Burton, so yeah, I want to collect Tim Burton. I made that one. And I made that one. And then other themes just come up with uh, some weird ideas for it. that would be fun and that would be pretty or um, or I see someone else with a fun collection and then oh I want to do that and I think people with animal hats was one of those that I saw someone else collected and I thought oh I want that and these are my bugs. And uh, my psychobilly, rockabilly collection. And uh, my spooky collection. I made that one and I made that one. And I made that one. I haven't made any spooky art in ages. And more spooky, wizardry, wizardy cards. And then some um, surreal cards, pop surreal and just surreal, and then some colorful portraits, and then uh, some, uh, oh, the word just ex escaped me. Sideshow cards, sorry. I made that years ago. And queer, my queer collection. And uh, a collection of uh, found poetry. It's like when you take a, a book page and you cut out words or um, sentences and you put them together into a poem all by yourself and these are my wolverine cards and just uh, black and white and uh, um, gory cards, Edward Gory cards and black and white cards in, in general and then a, a gathering of odd colorful cards and oh there's an empty 
I needed that one. And here are some of my own uh, available for trade. So I made those as well and they are also available for trade. Let's see what I have here. Here we have Alice in Wonderland. Actually this one is by Kat, my friend as well. And I am thinking about doing this as a tattoo. Like this is paper cutting. The black is paper cut and then the background is painted on a different paper. This is also fun to see all of the different media and uh, techniques and stuff. So much art in such a small space. That one is mine. These are prints I bought on Etsy by Danitas Art, I think. And these are all prints as well. So it's a good way to get um, cheap art. Or these I traded with people that when I just begun, they were way above me in skill level, but they wanted to trade. Um, prints with me and I really appreciated that because even though it's not original it's still I can still see their piece of art in my collection. This was a um, Wonderland Tarot swap I hosted like 10 years ago or something. These are, I think these are my very first, almost very first um, A to C cards I ever made back in 2007. And we are coming towards the end. This binder is for my favorite artist uh, cards. I love trading in favorite artist pick a theme swaps. So uh, we all divide into groups and every player picks a favorite artist and the other members in the group will paint a card uh, inspired by that artist or copying that artist. So I have some favorite artists that people have made for me. So this is Tove Jansson, who does uh, the Moomin books. And these um, were made by a woman who has had never even heard about the Moomins. And they don't look like the Moomins, but I really, really love them. They are so pretty. And this is, I have to take a peek. Tetsuo Takahara, I can't pronounce Japanese, but uh, he makes these amazing uh, animal portraits. And these are uh, Caroline Passos, she's on Instagram, so you can look, look her up. And these are... Um, 60s gypsy style paintings. They were really, really popular. You can find um, prints and paintings of them at thrift stores and such. And these are Jean Lorios, who made these big butted girls. And these are in the style of Neishan. Again, pronunciation is not my strong point. Strong. I'm not good at pronouncing Japanese and Chinese and st such. This is uh, Brandy Milne, her art. 
and this is art by Camilla Derrico and uh, Camilla Derrico at the top and uh, Nicole Nicoletta Ciccoli and she has done a couple of tarot decks so if you love her art look that up and these tiny ones are called Moo cards I traded a bunch of Moo cards uh, for a while so I made that one and I made that one and that one and these tiny 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 cards they are so much fun I maybe need to trade some of those I made these tiny mermaids and that Cheshire cat yeah I have I have space I need to make some new cards and then my last binder and here are some of my oldest cards oldest collections so they are very mixed they are not uh, as uh, thematically uh, focused if you say so so I just gathered some purple cards and then some female portraits I made that one these I hosted a swap in the style of Susie Blue uh, look her up as well if you want on Instagram and these are cards by a friend called Megan more cards by Megan and a bunch of orange and uh, orange cards, orange and pinks and stuff and uh, just a mixed collection and uh, that one I made yeah, I, thought, I think I made sort of a yellowish page And these are inspired by Tisha Moore. I made that one. Tisha Moore and uh, yeah, in the style of no, I don't remember her name. And these are a bunch of cards. Just mix them, put them together as they are pretty. And that one I made. As I said, these are not uh, like very style themed uh, collections, just a bunch of cards. Um, this I made is a, a wardrobe from the witch and the lion, and witch and the wardrobe. And this I made for a goddess or Egyptian swap or something. So it's just a bunch of these two are the very first cards I traded for. And that one I made is for a triptych swap. So and these are from Cher no Joan. All of them. These are from Ren Million. And these are from I don't see what I traded them ages ago on Flickr when I was there. And these are cards from my friends and family. These are from my nieces and nephews and friends' children. I think that is so much fun to have. So yeah, that was six binders filled with my mail art collection. I will hurry up and finish this before I reach 25 minutes. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions and comments or anything just uh, put them down below. 
thank you for watching and I will see you soon in a more more normal video. I have a Halloween video coming up soon. Um, have a good day and a good week and uh, see you later. Goodbye!